hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i want to talk to you about niacinamide niacinamide is also a very good cosmeceutical ingredient it is also called vitamin b3 it's non-irritating keep in mind and it's uh in research okay it has show it shows a lot of benefits to the skin when using uh, the uh, recommended form it helps to improve you know the appearance of age and it helps to you know repair photo damaged skin and it also helps to moisturize the skin very well now how do you use this in your formulation It's a white crystal product okay ingredient it's not cheap also it's expensive but it's going to really make a lot lot of vein it's going to show a lot of improvement when you are formulating your product uh, keep in mind when you are using this product you have to make sure the ph of your skincare product is at least six okay if you do not do that it, may, it won't work so it works optimally at the ph of 6.0 so make sure when you use this to make a product make sure the ph is 6.0 now here are some things you have to keep in mind you have to add it to water you can add it to the water face of your formulation so the choice is up to or you can you know wait till the cool down phase and you can add it to the cool down phase of your formulation when you're adding it to the water phase of formulation you just you know take a little bit take a little bit that you want to use and use uh, just like i did for the dear pantano in my other video take a little bit and dissolve it in water it's water soluble okay dissolve a little bit in water and as you see it goes right away you see it goes right away so it's a very good uh, cosmetic active it's a very good cosmeceutical near cinema is one of the top cosmeceuticals you want to include in your formulation so going forward you can give it a try don't worry that it's expensive but it's worth every bit of it now things that you should avoid is you need to avoid it in acidic formulation okay because uh, this form a compound called nicotic okay in acidic formulation and nicotic is very very irritating to the skin so when you are making this product it's very important that you avoid um, acidic formulation because it will hydrolyze and form nicotic nicotic is very irritating to the skin so you want to be careful with that and make sure like i said before you change the uh, ph okay make sure you um what do you call the p make sure you change your ph the ph of your skincare products the finer ph must be adjust the ph that's what i was trying to say adjust the ph to six it takes six for it to work anything below that it will it will, if it's too acidic it's going to hydrolyze and it's going to irritate the skin so this is where the danger of using uh, niacinamide wrongly is that it's going to irritate the skin of your customer or your skin by you know it will hydrolyze and it's going to form a compound called nicotic nicotic okay I mean, it's going to cause uh, turn into nicotinic. Nicotinic is very, very irritating to the skin, just like nicotine and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind when you're using this to formulate. It's very important that the pH, the rule here is that the pH must be six. And uh, what's the recommended usage rate? The usage rate right now is between one and six. Okay, between one and six percent. So if you're making 100 gram of your product, you want to include this between one gram and six gram if you're making 100 gram. Or if you're calculating by percentage, you want to include it by between 1% to 6%. So all this uh, is, uh, has helped you a lot. So when you are working with this, very easy to work with. Either you had in the water phase of your formulation or you can add in the cool down phase. Any the decision is up to you. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to upgrade your formulation skill, this is a channel to subscribe to. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, you want to join me in formulation, you want to be a part of my formulation uh, group, head over to naturalskincareschool.com. That's where you want to learn a lot of advanced formulation, how to make your skincare product to sell, and how to avoid common mistakes that others are making. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I wish you the best in your formulation journey. 
Thanks for watching.